Welcome into Oceanside After Dark here at Oceanside Arena after the Sun Devil women's club hockey team fell to the Colorado Buffaloes 5-3. I'm joined here by WCSN women's hockey beat writers Lisa Babica and Michael Gutnick to talk about what happened in today's game. So Lisa, I'll start with you. The Sun Devils came out strong in the first period, scoring two goals. What was working right for them? They were really pushing forward in the net and they were making the defense for Colorado Boulder uh, have mistakes and I think that really helped them and they took the shots even though the one was from almost the blue line it went in and that's sometimes all you need even though uh, Colorado Boulder was d dominating offensively during that first period I think that was great that they got those opportunities. Now moving into the second period things started to fall apart for the Sun Devils. Colorado tacked on four goals in that second period what changed after the first period for Colorado? CU Boulder is starting to play aggressively. Uh, as you said, they scored four goals. Three of them came from Mara Kuefter for the Buffalo. And really what happened was, is that they started to get more offensive attacks in, our, in the offensive zone. And they got a lot of shots on goal and cleaner passes on Jordan, Jordan Ash Boulder. Now I'll ask the both of you this. Moving forward, the Sun Devils host Colorado State this upcoming weekend. What do they need to change from their game plan uh, this past weekend in order to execute and potentially pull off some wins? Honestly, they need to get more shots on net. They only had about 16 shots on net in tonight's game, and that doesn't win you games. You need to push, push, and put those in the back of the net and make those defensives have mistakes and the goalie have mistakes. And I think that moving forward, if they can get goals in the back of the net, they will win games. One thing that ASU needs to work on is get more pucks in the net and create more strong opportunities down low, uh, and also jump up on the rushes, uh, as we saw in the first game of the series for Arizona State. This has been Oceanside After Dark. I'm Nick Batters. Thank you, Liesl. Thank you, Michael. The Sun Devils host Colorado State this upcoming weekend with games both Friday and Saturday. Reporting in Tempe from Oceanside Arena, I'm Nick Batters, Cronkite Sports.